he started this fundraiser for his daughter to raise money to help pay for the bills. You know, we're just with him every step of the way. You know, he's family. We all went to the same school and we want to help him out as much as we can. Michaela is talking about Devin Still, who's raised more than a million dollars to help his daughter Leah. At only four years old, she's battling stage four neuroblastoma, a type of pediatric cancer. Still has agreed to sell his jerseys for $100 a piece, with the proceeds going to the Cincinnati Children's Medical Center, and has been raising awareness for the issue via social media. I'm going to ask you again. I'm ready for today. You ready for today? You ready to get this cancer about you? Let's do it. Fist bump. The Bengals' defensive tackle is a Penn State alum who played for Joe Paterno from 2008 to 2011. He's received incredible support from his Penn State family, many of whom participate in THON, the world's largest student-run philanthropy in the fight against pediatric cancer. Michaela Francis, a THON committee member, was raised in State College and supports Still, who's inspired her since high school. When I was in high school, like, I've, I've talked to him before I met him, you know, as a fan, but it's humbling to me just to, to hear someone, you know, have such a great bright future, you know, graduating from Penn State, having this amazing degree, and then getting to play for the NFL. And for him, he said, I need to take a step back from football and focus on my daughter. Well, there are many places you can order a shirt or jersey online. You can also order one here at McClanahan's, where the staff has asked Devin still personally if they can sell his shirts right here downtown. I asked our owner if we could do something for him because he is one of us. He's Penn State. So I reached out to Devin Still. And I was just like, look, we're doing this shirt, and I really want, um, we really want to donate the proceeds to you, and just to get me your contact info. And like, I sent him the artwork that we did for the shirt, and he was like, this is awesome. As for Leah, after an extensive six-hour surgery, doctors were able to remove her tumor. She'll have her last round of chemotherapy today. In University Park, I'm Carissa Gaither for the Center County Report.